Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss how to take a database backup from PostgreSQL server using command prompt. First, let us discuss what are the databases available in our PostgreSQL server. I have opened PG Admin 4, we have PostgreSQL 15, and we have two databases Postgres and Technician. Postgres is default database, it will be automatically available after you install PostgreSQL server on your system. Then I created a new database, Technician. If you don't know how to create a database in PostgreSQL server, please watch my previous videos. In this video, we are discussing how to take, what are the commands to take the backup of a particular database in PostgreSQL server using command prompt. We have option to take the database backup using pgadmin4 management tool like just right click this particular database and Go to backup and restore options. You can take the backup. But in this video, we will discuss how to take using command prompt. So, first, we have to check the commands. Let us go to C drive. Here, I have created a backups folder. We are going to Store our backup file in this location. C drive backups. I created this folder already. Let me minimize it and then let me open command prompt. I have opened command prompt. Then let us move to PostgreSQL bin folder. Move to program files. Then PostgreSQL folder, then 15 folder, then bin folder. That means right now we are in this position C drive, program files, PostgreSQL, 15, bin folder. We are in this position. We are going to execute our backup command from this position. Let us open command prompt. I have already prepared. Command for taking the backup. Let me copy this one. Let me paste it here. Here, I will explain the command one by one. pg underscore dem is a utility available available in PostgreSQL server to take the backup, to restore the backup. All these functionalities can be done by pg underscore dem. Then hyphen capital U. U stands for user. We will specify the user here. After hyphen capital U space, then we will specify the user Postgres because we are going to take the backup of a database by using this Postgres user. Then space hyphen capital W. This will stand for force the force us to enter the password of this Postgres user. If you specify hyphen capital W. It will ask for the Postgres user password. Please remember that Postgres user password is created or we generated that password when we install PostgreSQL server on our system. So you have to enter the same password when it is prompted to enter. I will show you. Then hyphen F till stand for specify the format of our database, the backup database. How? The in which format the database backup should be given. We will specify here dot tar because hyphen capital F after space we specify T, T for tar file. We, we have dot SQL file, dot tar file, different custom files are available. So hyphen F for format, it is stand for format, our format is tar format, dot tar file. So T is specified there. Then we have to give our database name, database underscore name. So, what we will do is we will change this one to our database, that name sorry. Because we have, we are going to take the backup of this technician database. Then we will take that backup into this location. C drive, backups folder, backup underscore file. We have to change this file name. We have to keep a meaningful name. That 
nursery backup tech nursery backup dot tar file semicolon first let us check our uh, folder c drive backups folder it is empty now so let me press enter key Too many command line options. First is semicolon. Let me remove the semicolon. Yes, we don't want the semicolon there. Um, I, I thought that I was working in a SQL shell PL SQL command prompt. So, uh, so in, in from the command prompt, we don't want that semicolon. Let's enter the password. Let us check our backups folder. Yes, our backup of technician database is available in this position. So, this command worked successfully. Now, I will tell you another command. Control C. Let us go to command prompt again. Just here. Let's copy one second. Control C. Is there? This is the command to take the backup of all the database in a single file. It is not dot tar extension, but it is dot SQL extension script file we will get for the all databases. So I will explain the command pg underscore dump all for all the database backups, affecting all the database available in this. PostgreSQL server. That means currently Postgres database and Technics database. If we have another database like uh, Technicsary one and save it. Takes time. Let us wait. Yes, we have one more database here, Postgres, Technicsary, Technicsary 1. So we have three databases. So we want to take the backup of all the database in a single file. So we will use this pg underscore dem all hyphen space hyphen u for user. The after space we have to specify the user, which user we want to take the backup. This user should have permission to this to do these operations. So our user is Postgres then the location c backups then the the file name uh, for me i type all database or if you want give another name the name that name should be should be the name of the backup file like um, all my postgres db for example i give that name and dot sql this will be in dot sql extension like a script file in a, in a single script file all the database backup will be done so let me press enter i forced to enter the enter the password this is why because of that uh, uh, the postgres postgres user have the password you have to provide that password and I think I typed the wrong password. Let me try once again. Now it is asking for uh, password again. How to enter that password for all the options? Let us go to our backups folder. Yes, all my Postgres DB backups are available there in a single SQL test file. Let us right click, edit, but here it will list all the databases, template 1, Postgres, Technicsary, you see all the database 
backup is available in a single dot sql cut instance file so in this video we studied how to take the postgresql database backup using command prompt not only single but single or particular database but all the database also we can took the backup from the command prompt i hope this video is helpful for you thank you